Good morning, everyone. And today we're taking a look at the Grand Dragon, part of the Striker Pack release with the April 20th release. It is, uh, I'm recording this on April 20th. This is about 20 minutes after the systems come back up online. So we have the Grand Dragon here. Uh, this is like a dragon, only bigger, because uh, it's, you know, the Grand Dragon. Um, uh, not that much bigger, actually. I mean, it's the same tonnage, so. Yeah, just bigger. Okay, so let's look at look at the Mac. So we have uh, four Mead Pulses and an SRM-6. We have an AMS with half a ton of AMS ammo. I'm thinking of ripping this out and putting in... Uh, I'd have to get another half a ton from somewhere, but putting in the laser AMS because apparently it's working great. Case does not take up any tonnage anymore. Um, so I've never really used it before uh, in here, but it doesn't take up any tonnage, just slots. And if you've got slots, why not use it? I mean, it, it doesn't need to go in the legs because if you get the SRM ammo, it's going to blow the leg off anyway. But that damage will not transfer. So if you're down to like one point of damage, your SRM blows, it could get you to the center torso and get extra damage. This way you lose a leg, you lose a leg, and that's it. If you put ammo on your torsos, you can do the same thing with the case there. Um, so um, what we have here is a firepower of 36.9, which is a very odd number. But uh, with the mead pulses, um, such as they are, um, you uh, modified slightly with the um, with this. Like we got damage six, we got heat three point eight, cool down two point eight, and duration point six. Uh, maximum range four forty, and optimum two twenty. So yeah, it's uh, you got to get in close and personal with this thing. But at a ninety three point two kilometer an hour speed, it can do it. Um, you can change the engine out for a lighter one. I have also tried this with light PPCs, but this is the configuration we're going with today on our first run with the Grand Dragon. It's not like I have any reference points to go with to check and see who what, what, what other people are using because it is new. So I hope you enjoy these two videos coming up for the Grand Dragon. Stay tuned for more and I will see you on the battlefield. All right, folks, we are in the Grand Dragon. This is the post April 20 patch mech release uh, with the patch. Uh, we went with Meat Pulse Lasers and an SRM-6 just to add some insult to injury. And we've got some good speed on this thing. It's a 93.2 speed mech, and that's pretty darn good for, for uh, what this is. It's a pretty slick looking mech too, I find. Very shiny. The speed uh, is good for sort of a, a hit and run, but it's, it's got the armor to stand its ground too, so it's not just a hit and run mech. It reminds me of a linebacker in a sense. It runs. It's a it's a heavy, larger mech that runs faster than its usual size. Um, and yeah. Okay, let's get up there. See if we can ease our way around this corner without too much exposure. There we go. That might be my first target. I'm gonna miss with the SRMs, but not completely. Mac. I did not torso twist there because I wanted to see what this thing could take. And just holding the fire button down and standing my ground, I was easy to, uh, I was able to uh, just shoot against that rifle until he backed off. Nice. It's like a heavier version of a, more angrier version of a, of a, of a dragon. There's some smoke there I want to avoid. But I gotta watch this rotation coming around behind me. Pretty amazing. Okay, I gotta get down because I got guys coming up behind me now, and this is not the rotation is going too slow to continue that way. Press mechs are not fast when they get hit by people. Enemy destroyed. 
Anyway, one down. Target. That is the new speaker pack, uh, speaker option that comes with the striker pack as well. Fun. Two five. Not a great situation here. We've got some speed to us here, so we can get around the other side decently fast, get us out of that mess that's going on. But it doesn't help when it's a two seven situation, right? Out of here if we can. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, that was a first start. Can't do much when your team's down three to twelve. I mean, you, you just you pick a target and you're shooting at it while you got three other guys shooting back at you. So let's uh, let's just see how this played out. Very fun mech, very fast mech. Uh, so one killing blow, two kill assist, 415 damage done, 627 taken, and one component destroyed. Team stats, we have a 238, which is the second highest in the group. Like fourth or fifth in the match. Hope you enjoyed the first video of the Dragon, um, Grand Dragon, excuse me. Um, I will uh, play a few, few rounds, get more familiarity with it, and I'll be back for video number two. Stay tuned. All right, folks, round two in the Grand Dragon. Here we go. People are making comments that laser AMS may have been overbuffed, but we'll see. That's just not going to go by one or two comments here. We'll obviously have to test that out ourselves. Right now, we have a regular AMS in this thing. Uh, just habit of using regular over laser. But I think I might try it out just to see uh, how it's been buffed. I know it's uh, got quite an adjustment to it, so. speed on this thing. Got a low signal around me here somewhere. Low signal echo five. You there? Nope, you're not there. <laughs> Marco. Oh, another dragon. Two grand dragons, the great grand poobas of the battlefield. Alrighty, we kill assisted on that. Can not see me. He came up that ramp. I came up this one. I was standing there and he did not see me. Stealth dragon. Ah, I to anticipate the movement, didn't get it. Around that corner, get the drag on. Dead. Oh. 
this thing has got a lot of maneuverability on it. I just got to get on target. I didn't want to be part of that, but now I do. Not that Cyclops or that guy, whichever. Good, because I'm hurt. Although I am still going to use this to go. Oh, I was going to go up, but I don't have to go down, not up. Rifleman. Ah. Oh well. I did as much as I could there. Not too shabby. No kills though. My damage output is decent. It really is a matter of constant shooting in this mech. Uh, you just gotta do it. I think that I'm gonna check that dragon up because I think he might have a different. Yeah, he's got two large, two ER meads, and two street fours. Definitely a better, uh, a different mech mix anyway. I'm not gonna say better. I'll say different. Very close, 11 12. Heck of a game. Command is happy to hear of your success and achievements on the screen. And he blew up too? Oh my god, this is a 12 12 kill. I have never seen that before. Now, does that count as a victory or a tie? I. I can't even. E I guess suicide counts as less than kill. So he killed us, but then suicided. I don't know how that worked out. I, I, I don't. It was a 12 kill versus 12 kill game. I have never seen that in my game history on here. Um, I've seen like, you know, like 12 or 11. Lots of times I've seen people blow themselves up, but never kill and blow up and then even though they got the kill, we have the victory. Maybe they have a victory too. It might have been listed as a double victory. I don't know, but I'm just, wow. Okay, so we have a 410 game score. That is one, two, three, four, fifth, fourth, fifth in the group and sixth in the match. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for more and I will see you on the battlefield and welcome to the April 20th patch. Have a good day.